Are you on the prowl for some howling good fun this Halloween? Do you like doing crafts and winning great prizes? Then step inside my lair for week two of Suzy Q's Spooktacular Boo Fest. Hey everybody, it's Sue, and you're in for a double feature today. First of all, it's the second week of our Boo Fest. The entire month of October, I am celebrating my one year anniversary on YouTube. Yay! So I thought I would brew up some Halloween fun for you to say thank you so much for supporting me. So somewhere in this video will pop up a link that says Haunted House number two. Now you wanna click on that link and that will take you to a Haunted House themed escape room with puzzles in it for you to solve. Now this is a five part series and you have to do all five escape rooms in order for a chance to win a spectacular prize. But don't worry if you missed last week's Haunted House, you can click on this link and that will take you to Haunted House number one. Now when you click on those links, there'll be full instructions on what you need to do to escape the room. But in order to win a prize, you must be a subscriber and on October the 28th, you need to type the hidden key in the comment section below that video and I will put your name in a draw to win $30 to spend any way you like on my Redbubble shop. My Redbubble shop is full of all kinds of clothing, home decor, you name it kind of items with my artwork on them. So at the end of this video, I will put up a few suggestions so you can start doing some shopping for your prize. So part two of our double feature today is the fact that it's the first Wednesday of the month and you know what that means. It's Wacky Wednesday, Halloween edition. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel and you're like, what the heck is Wacky Wednesday? Wacky Wednesday is where you, the subscribers, suggest to me three totally unrelated items. They don't even have to be crafty items and I have to put them together into some kind of a home decor or art project. Sometimes it can be devilishly tricky. So this month, my awesome subscriber and supporter, Kujin Comics, suggested using some plastic bones or skeleton figurines, some Lego blocks, and a jar. First things first, you really need to check out Kujin Comic Art. He is so creative and does amazing animations of his cute little dragon. So if you'd like to check him out, I will put a link to his channel below in the description box. So if you want to see how I magically concocted those three items into a home decor Halloween themed item, let's get started. So I was going to head off to the Dollar Tree to pick up some supplies for this Wacky Wednesday challenge. But if you guys know me, I am frugal and I like to reuse things. I also know that my two teenage sons had buckets and buckets of Legos that they didn't use anymore. So I thought, hmm, I'll start there. So it took some time, but I hit the jackpot. First, I found these cool Lego blocks that kind of look like old stones, and I thought, hmm, that seems Halloween-y. Then I found this piece that was already put together that kind of looked like a coffin. And I found some skeleton figures and some plastic bones. I also found all these other cute little accessories that were Halloween themed. And the pièce de résistance, this was from some Lego set that my son had, that if you push the button, it vibrates and makes Halloween sounds. I thought, it's meant to be. So I had two of the three items already and now any crafter worth their salt has mason jars around so I was all set. Then I decided to take some twigs from the backyard as well as this spooky creepy fabric that I found at the Dollar Tree and I repurposed these bat twinkly lights that I had last year as well as a little flickering tea light. So I decided to make a creepy graveyard scene so I started with this green Lego base then I took these stone type Lego blocks and made them into tombstones just by snapping them together. Then 
I took this box type piece that matched and thought Mr. Mummy would have a nice place to take a nap. So as any good realtor knows, even in the afterlife, what's important is location, location, location. So I fiddled around a bit, placing things here and there until I got them where I wanted them, making sure I had room for my mason jar. In the stash of Halloween decor pieces of Lego, I found this cute little iron gate that actually moved up and down too, and I thought I could embellish it with some Halloween things. So I just placed the pieces around my graveyard. I'll take you on a tour when it's all done. It'll be a one-way ticket though. Once I had the graveyard set up the way I liked it, I thought I would decorate up this mason jar. So I took some of the spooky fabric that I had and just using some hot glue, I wrapped it around to make sort of the bark of this gnarly old tree. Then I put this flickering tea light inside, took the branches that I had found out in the yard and put them in to make a vase. Then I took the bat lights and strung them around the branches. Then to set the mood even further, I took some of this black web-like fabric that I found from the Dollar Tree and wove it in and out of the branches to make it look even spookier. And now for the final resting place, a tour of my Wacky Wednesday Challenge Raven. I hope you enjoy. And if you like this video, put in the description box below three suggestions for next month's Wacky Wednesday. And make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of the spectacular fun. See you next time on Discovering the Art of Living.